So this is the, the problem that a lot of people are, are, are having right now, uh, and it's, it's basically getting your head around the 3D space that we've got here. Okay, so I'll show you what, what a lot of people are doing and where they're getting a little bit stuck. So I'll, I'll add a just a plain mesh here. Um, I'll get rid of this sucker. All right, so what I've got here is... Michael, please, please. Uh, what I've got here is just a plain mesh, okay? And if we break it down, we go into edit mode, you can see it's made of four vertices. Now, this is what you're using, and you're basically you're moving these vertices, these points, to match your shape that you're using, okay? So, Jan, so this is the, the problem that people seem to be having. They're moving these around, okay, I'm just going to move that, and it looks like it's going down a little bit. Uh, I might move it over there now, and I'll do this, and I'll put it over there. And you know what? You look at that, and you go, that's fine. That's the shape that I want. But then when you rotate this, you can see you're completely out. So you've gone in the Z all the way down. Okay? Kiana. Um, so that seems to be the problem that you guys are having. You're selecting something, moving it, thinking that you're moving it in the spot you want it to go on this view, but then when you turn around, again, you can see it's kind of way out. All right? So that comes down to these three axes here. Okay? You've got your X, your Y, and your Z. And they're three different colors. So if I just... I'll just get rid of that, and I'll show you why it does that. So we'll just delete this, and I'll add another one. So just a plane. All right, there it is there again. So what you've got, if you move... If you move this point, all right, if I actually move the blue arrow, that's actually moving up and down, all right? So I can show you that a little bit easier if I just change this to the quad. So here it is here. And you can see in the other views, it's actually moving up and down. So from the top view, which is that one there, it looks like it's in the exact same spot, but it's not. You're going up and down, okay? So if I use the green... I'm going across that view, but again, if you see the different views, you can see how it's changing sizes. Ren, do you want to just shut that door? Yes. Um, you can see how it's changing. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you're using these handles correctly. So in the top view here, I'll just go back and I'll get rid of that quad. So if I change my view here to my, my top view, if I only want this little point here to go up and down, then move it by clicking on the green handle, okay? And you can see it creates that green line that goes up and down the whole screen. So now you know that it's only going up and down, all right? It's not going anywhere else I want it to move it. Same with the, with the red handle, all right, which is your, um, your X. If I click that to move, it's only going to go left and right. It's not going to go... If I move up and down, nothing happens. It's only going to go left and right. All right, and you'll notice on this view, you can't even see your blue, all right? There it is there. You can't even see your Z when you're on a top view because it's, it's saying you can only work in two dimensions. So that's the one thing most of you are doing. You, you've got your image, and you might have this on a, a bit of an angle here, all right? And then you're moving this around, and then when you look at it, it's going to be out of whack, even just a little bit, okay? So by selecting that, that uh, the, the white circle, okay, that's going to let you move anywhere, which is fine, but the problem is if you're in an angle like this when you're doing your work and you move it around, it's also going to go up and down as well, okay, and left and right. So you can use that white circle, but only if you're constraining yourself to one of these, like a top view. So if I use it now, it's only going to go up and down, left or right. That's it. It's not going to go in the Z, okay, so it's not going to have depth. But yet if I move this just a little bit, and now that appears, so it kind of still looks like I'm on the top view. Now when I move that, I can actually move it back and forward and left and right. So you need to make sure that you're in a view that is static. So if you're making your logo, make sure you're in a top view or a side view, okay? Even if you just accidentally move the mouse, and I do it a lot too, like if I click that mouse just a little bit, it's going to kick you out of that view. So again, if I go to the top, there it is there. And you see it says it up the, up the top there, top. So make sure you're in top and orthogonal, which is ortho. Sometimes you can see it. It might be on perspective. And there's your blue again. So you don't want to see what you see here. So if you ever see top and it's in perspective, just go back to your view and switch it to orthogonal, which is number five. And now you can see you're basically on a top or a left, right, you know, top, 
bottom kind of view. So that's where you want to be working from where we are right now. Because you're doing just a flat object. All right. When we start making, if we made a 3D object like a head, um, that's where working in a different view would help. So if I just get out of this, I'll go back to object mode. I'll just get rid of this. And I'll add uh, a monkey. Um, okay. So now in this view, you can see my little monkey guy there. Same deal. If I go into edit mode, I can grab a vertex, and because I'm in a top orthogonal view, I can only move up and down, okay, or left and right, and that's it. But if I switch this around to like a 3D view, now I can kind of move those in, out, wherever I want, but even here, it's kind of tricky to see what I'm doing. I've got to keep moving this around to get it kind of where I want that to go, okay? So for what we're doing, which is a 2D flat image, just make sure you're on a basic view like that, and try and stick to using those handles, all right? And that'll fix 99% of the problems that you're having right now. And that's it. All right, cool.